Robert Galarowitz, naturopath and nutritionist from my website at healthykidneyinc.com and our channel here at YouTube. And I was catching up on some reading and got some good news for anybody that has a cystine kidney stone, which is a genetic disorder where you leak an amino acid out and, and it turns into kidney stones. And cystine kidney stones from cystine urea is a genetic disorder. And you would do everything else that you would do with regular kidney stones uh, to prevent them with increased fluid intake, uh, if you don't have kidney damage, maybe you want to use a potassium citrate supplement. If you do have any kidney damage from stones, you might want to look at sodium bicarbonate um, to help alkalize you, which helps stone prevention. But something now is called alpha lipoic acid. It's a nutrient. I've personally taken alpha lipoic acid on and off for years because it has kidney benefits. And it's, uh, it's an antioxidant, a very powerful antioxidant. And in this study that was published in the Journal of Pediatrics 2020, and it's titled Alpha Lipoic Acid Improves Cystine Solubility in Cystine Urea. A uh, report of two cases, so it was two girls. There are some mouse studies that showed it benefited. So it was a 13 year old and a, sorry, not a 13, a six and a 15 year old. And the six year old, they gave 300 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid twice a day. They started with once and they went up to twice a day. The older girl, because she had more body weight, they gave her 600 milligrams twice a day. And you can get this in one pill. For, for younger children, you're probably, they don't make a powder, so you're gonna have to open up the pill. They don't make a powder that I know of. I'm, you know, they probably do. I'm sure they do if you search Amazon or search online, they do. But I've always used pills, and that's what I've recommended to, to people here at healthykidneyinc.com. And so you can open the pill and put it in something, maybe some applesauce, blend it into a, a juice, a yogurt, whatever it is. Uh, whatever you can get it in so and that showed that it helped prevent the stones and it's safe to take that for long periods of time that we know from other studies if you do decide to take it for more than six months you want to maybe look into your copper levels it's a possibility that your copper levels could get a little bit low past the six month point uh, but a lot of just multivitamins will have a little copper in them and you can always supplement with a little bit of copper too if needed and that's really like if you're looking to take the supplement more than like six months so that's something that you can do if you have cystine uh, kidney stones thanks for watching everybody i just wanted to share that when i learned about it because that's a great natural option that people can do and it's over the counter and it's an additional thing that can help with that type of stone formation thanks for watching everybody bye